And Kelly has really had her eye on this because we've all been talking about how great the warm weather has been, but right. there's some uh, <laughs> consequences to all that. It is, yeah, it is bittersweet to see. We get to enjoy the weather now, but we don't quite realize the impacts maybe until we hit the summertime when you realize you can't really go out to your favorite river or fishing is impacted. All the recreation we like to do, same with crop failures and agriculture around the region. So this has a big impact. Right now, our current status of drought across the state has worsened since last week. And now the Willamette Valley here in that orange category, which is severe drought and over 70% of our state is in a severe drought. So we need the rain and we're just not seeing it here as we enter the month. Here's a wider view of the West Coast and uh, the Western US. You can see there are several states that are in the exceptional drought category that includes across Nevada and Utah and down towards the desert Southwest. So we have just been lacking rain this year since the start of the new year and the water year back in in October and uh, even looking at the forecast now we're not expecting much rain as we look towards the week and we'll have to wait until next week. In terms of fire danger, we're watching this earlier in the year than we normally would because of all of these dry conditions across the Pacific Northwest. So going into tomorrow, I see a better chance that we could see some instability and a pop up thunderstorm mainly for central and eastern Oregon. We'll pair that with breezy winds all day tomorrow. So there is some heightened fire danger and elevation elevated risks for those areas out towards Deschutes and Jefferson County and then down towards Klamath and Lake counties tomorrow. So we'll keep our eyes on the radar and hope that we don't see any lightning strikes or thunderstorms developing uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Current look outside. We are seeing a lovely afternoon so far. Lunch hour here still under the sun. I do expect, expect to see more high clouds pushing and you can see some of those already off in the distance. Mount St. Helens there off in the distance to just a beautiful uh, again afternoon. Mid 60s already in Portland and we're warming up highs today likely in the upper 70s today with increasing clouds. We'll see a cloudier evening. Also a breeze setting up as we head into our five o'clock six o'clock hour and this morning we saw some nice views because because of those high clouds, you can see that iridescent cloud out, out uh, in the distance here. This is part of a sun dog, that halo that is around the sun. Nice view of Mount Hood there too. So thank you, Tracy, for sharing this out towards uh, Bald Peak, I believe. Really cool colors out there. Also another view here of another iridescent cloud out of Forest Grove this morning. Janet shared this. Again, these happen when we see those high clouds that are uh, uh, consist or they consist of um, ice crystals and that is what refracts the sunlight into that rainbow uh, spectrum. So real cool to see that in the skies and continue to look out for that as we head into our day today. So here's our rainfall future cast. We stay dry through today. Uh, we will see a few more high clouds setting up again by tomorrow morning. A chance we see that drizzle setting up across the coast a little cloudier, but we do clear out. Expect sunshine tomorrow and breezy winds. There's a look at that instability a chance. We see some pop up showers and even an isolated storm going into our Friday afternoon for Southern Oregon. Saturday and through the weekend, we remain dry. We're expecting a beautiful weekend with warm temperatures and sunshine. Next round of rain finally works in as we head into Tuesday. Timing is still inconsistent between models, but hoping we do see that there uh, by the time we hit uh, the early parts of next week. Upper 70s today in the valley, low 60s for the coast with sun breaks. Quick look at your seven day forecast. We stay in the 80s throughout the weekend, cooling down to the 60s next week. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.